guys so in the last video which was not from the learning vim series i showed you how you can animate the border bottom of a link um, on hover and fabrice had a better idea uh, to do this because the width animation uh, triggers a reflow um, he sent this tweet uh, to me with the link to cssstriggers.com and to his fork on codepen so let's just have a look at the css triggers that means that animating the width um, causes a repaint and this is bad for performance for the frames. So changing width alters the geometry of the element. That means that it may affect the position or size of other elements on the page, both of which require the browser to perform layout operations. So you see this point, layout. Once those layout operations have completed, any damaged pixels will need to be painted and the page must then be composited together. So this means Animating the width, um, yeah, changes uh, enough stuff on the on the page so that a layout uh, repaint has to happen, and that is bad for performance, as he said. And so um, this is his solution. So you see, if you hover, you get the animation, and he uses um, the translate um, x minus hundred percent, and he also uses the the after pseudo element positions it with absolute on the bottom of the link. This means the cool link has to have position relative and the overflow hidden because he um, changes the, the pseudo element to minus 100%. So if I um, comment this out, overflow hidden, you see the border bottom or the pseudo element, the after element is positioned left and bottom to the link. And if I hover over the link, he animates the translation from minus 100% um, to translate x0 and the transition is the transform and um, yeah we need the overflow hidden so the start is um, hidden. Yeah so if you would um, comment out the transition just would appear nothing special and yeah that's basically it. The only the only downside to this is, I'm not sure if you can see it on the video, if I hover over this, the text um, gets a little bit, yeah, I don't know, thin. Some kind of anti-aliasing or something is going on there. I have seen this um, with the G translate stuff um, a few times. I'm not sure if it's only in Safari or, on, or also in Chrome. I'm, I'm not sure and I'm not... Uh, no idea what to do against this. Sometimes backface visibility hidden is working. Sometimes you need to do some other stuff or maybe you can't do anything. I'm not sure. So comparison this is mine. That's not happening here. But um, yeah, this looks smoother. I just wanted to um, show you this quickly and um, remind, you, uh, remind you of the transform translate and that it's better for performance. Thank you, Fabrice, and um, yeah, see you next time. Bye.